Hey there, heroes. It has your friendly neighborhood Spider-Man. Today, we Ray going on a super time adventure. Ever wondered how clocks work? What is that ticking sound? And how do we know when it is bad time? Well, grab your Spidey sense because Mini Mikey is about to show us. Let us go. Okay, let's go. Whoa, Mikey has got a clock. But wait, what do those spinning hands even mean? Sounds like Dad knows something. Let us listen in. Look what I have here. What is this? It's the clock. This it shows how the time goes. You see? Tick, tock, tick. Let's hear it. Do you hear it? Tick, tock, tick. So that means the time is going one way. So this way we can figure it out what time is today like for example now it shows that it's 12 and 20 something 25 right 12 o'clock and 25 this is correct so that way we know what time and when we can go back when we can stop playing when we can go when we have to go to bed that way we are sure that we have to go to bed at the exact 8 or 9 o'clock right or on 100 no, we're not going to sleep at 100, that's too much. But now we can find out how this watch is working, right? What's in inside of it? And let's disassemble and see how the watch actually turns and what it shows us. Good luck! Huh? 100 o'clock. That has passed even my bad time. But dead us right. Clocks help us know when to eat, sleep, and play. So, how do they actually work? Time to swing inside the clock and find out. In old clocks, there was something called a pendulum. The pendulum swings evenly and controls the speed of the clock hands. If you make it longer, it starts swinging more slowly, and the clock slows down. It's so interesting. But if you shorten it, the clock starts running faster. In modern clocks, pendulums are rare. Instead, they use a spring or an electronic chip but you can still slow down or speed up the clock. Okay, team. Suit up! We Ray going on a mission inside the clock. Let us see what's moving in there. Ready? Flip! Let us go! We tell the time so we know when different events happen throughout the day. Whether during the morning, noon, evening, or night. This is an analog clock. The blue highlighted area is called the clock face. <laughs> the red lines are called hands. We have two types of hands on the clock. Whoa. This is the minute hand. The minute hand is the longer hand. The other type of hand is called the hour hand. This hand lets us know what hour it is. And it is the shorter hand. The numbers on our clock face represent the hours. It's so interesting. Look at the minute hand zoom around the clock. We've sped up how long it would usually take. You will notice that both hands are spinning in the same direction. We call this clockwise. What's the time? When the longer hand, the minute hand, is pointing to the number 12, and the smaller hand, the hour hand, is pointing to one of the hour numbers, we call this o'clock. Wow! For example, when the minute hand points to 12 and the hour hand points to 1, we say it's 1 o'clock. Wow! But when the minute hand, the bigger hand, gets to the number 6, then we say half past. Wow! You can see that when the minute hand is pointing to the 6, our hand is pointing to the number 7. We say the time is half past 7. Now kids, we know how to manage the time. Boom! So now we know. The short hand tells the hour, the long one shows the minutes, and that super fast one, yeah, that is the seconds. Pretty cool. But wait, how did people tell time before clocks? No batteries, no apps, no web watches. Let us rewind time and check it out. One of the watches is the sunshine watches. Let's see how that works. If you stick a stick into the ground, its shadow will move in a circle during the day. Boom! The simplest sundial. Oh, it's so cool. Then they invented water clocks, where time was measured by how much water dripped out of the container. And when they replaced the water with sand, we got our glasses. But people really learned to measure time when they invented mechanical clocks. They made them huge and also very small like wristwatches. Then came electronic clocks, which are super convenient, and the ones we all use today. And the most precise clocks of all are atomic clocks. The entire world checks its time by them. Whoa! From the sun to sand to gears and gadgets, time sure has come a long way. Now, 
Let us see if you can raid the clock like a true hero. Can you tell the time? Okay, time challenge. Let me show you some clocks. Can you guess what time they show? Put on your thinking masks. Is it 10 o'clock? Half past 12. Or is it 12 o'clock? Mm -hmm. Look at where the minute hand is pointing. It's 10 o'clock. The big hand is pointing at 12. So we say o'clock. And put it out to the number that the small hand is pointing to. Which is 10. That means it's 10 o'clock. Well done. What is the time now? Mm -hmm. It's half past four. Well done. Michael, we need to go sleep. No, I don't want to do that. You don't want to go sleep? No. Why? Because. Because what? You want to play? Yay! Yeah, but it's too late. Did you see the time? You didn't see the time? No? And I have five more minutes. Uh, yes. Yes, okay, we're gonna have five more minutes. How do you know when the five minutes will get past? Look at this. Cool. You guys did it. You learned all about clocks, time, and even made some jokes along the way. Mikey crushed it, and so did you. Don't you forget to like, subscribe, and swing back next time for more fun on Mini Mikey TV. Until then, keep being awesome, and remember, with great clocks, comes great bad time. Bye-bye.